Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Monsters Den, Book of Dread with Wando Bondo. We're playing the Dreadfather campaign. Oh, we just started level 9. We should be getting our final glowing stone fragment. We have to have 9 fragments, and we should be able to do that on this, this level. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's just pick our skills real quick. I'm going to go ahead and continue with armor efficiency, proficiency there. I uh, don't think we need bloodlust, it's interesting, but let's go ahead and keep working on armor proficiency there. And brutality here at this point is probably more important than last stand. And augment health I suppose we could work on now. And then eventually augment strength. we got all of our skills really. Vortex I just never really use, it's just... Uh, it's very super situational where it might he maybe could bring something from the back row to the front row but it only you never know since you don't know before you go in then how do you know if it's really going to be useful or not you don't and, and that's the problem with some of these skills they're just too highly unusual and difficult to determine whether it's really going to benefit you or or not Green items, we're getting rid of those. Let's see, poison. We probably already have a poison. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Three regenerate. Well, we've got regenerate on everything. All right, let's just throw it over here. Just keep regenerating. All right, let's see if this is an upgrade. It is an upgrade-ish, but not really. I mean, 78 compared to 67. It's not that much of an upgrade. I'm not even going to worry about it. Four power regen. That's, except for we need that chance to hit, so that's out. Okay. Let's start, uh, let's start killing here. See where we get. Alright, that looks good. Stunned and blinded, and let's do defensive. That hurt a little bit. Let's go ahead and start killing everything. Probably should have put these guys in the front row. Let's blind this guy, maybe it'll miss. He was stunned and there was a miss, so that's good. Let's take care of this guy. Let's get a little teeny bit of power back. Let's give it some extra something else to hit. There we go. Now we can heal up for just a second. We just need a couple go rounds to get a little bit of power back and then we can work on the next one. That was okay. Alright, let's finish it. More green stuff. We don't really need green things. This could be an upgrade. 122, no drain health, but quickness. That's kind of nice. But it's quickness is really, that doesn't matter. It's the drain health that's interesting. And it's not really an upgrade. I mean, it's more damage, but it's not an upgrade. We lose things as well, so what's the point? Alright, let's try this way. Stunned. Blinded. There's a miss. That's what we're talking about. Well, let's just use this much power. We don't want to use all of our power. Save th we'll save five that way. Let's blind this guy. We should put defense on. There's a little poison. Ooh, poison 34. Wow, that's pretty serious. But we're getting our power back, so that's all that matters. Uh, 
I'm going to let Dazzle finish that off. And we'll take a hit and it missed because it's blinded. And one pass. Oh, it's stunned. There we go. Well, let's go around one time. That's good. Let's, let's just go around until Dazzle goes. There we go. There's another good potion. That's six elixirs of protection. That's pretty good. Green items. Ooh, this has got to be an upgrade. No, not necessarily. That quickness is better. I'd rather have the quickness along with the regen, of course. There's another portal to the store. That looks good. Not stunned. Well, let's um, blind this guy. That might help. Did not help. Did not help. That's some pretty serious poison too. And we don't have any poison resist and or any way to deal with that so we need to wipe these guys out quickly not stunned again let's wipe them out and we'll regen on the way around while we're searching around we really need to do something about our poison resist more poison. I don't want any more poison. Now we got two. Let's see, damage reflection. I'm not gonna do gauntlets. I'm not really gonna deal with this. That's nice, but I doubt it's an upgrade. And we already have that pretty much. Threadbare and a bow. I'm not doing a bow right now. We may do a bow for Pandora's box, but probably not right now. Wow, these guys, they need some more power back for sure. There's a poison resist, but uh, we can't use that. This looks pretty good. Let's see. Mm, we would lose the, we would lose the quickness again, and we really want to go first. Not much we can do about some of these things. There's some poison resist. I'm not sure if it's worth it to put poison resist on. We've got 26 already on brick. I would like this resistance, but we're not going to waste it on something and that'll be outdated. we got to put it on something that's going to be legendary. That's probably going to hold up over time at least something with big resistances probably some ring or something we'll let this go we'll definitely let this one go and yeah that's not worth it get rid of the green stuff we need the blue stuff now there we are, Celator. We gotta fight the uh, Beholder again. It's gonna be a little tricky, still. Two gargoyles, that's not bad. No poison, that's good, except for the Griebler, but we can get in front of the Griebler. I think the Griebler's 65. We can get in front of the Griebler, kill that, and then they should not be able to get us because a brick will be pretty strong. Especially when we put that stun resist on. We gotta use another potion. And, um, probably not Snake's Blood Potion. Alright, let's just keep searching. Try to get some power back. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and try this. See if we can't heal up. There we go. I don't know how this is going to go. We'll let Rage go first. And stunned finally. 
But his damage is getting weak. Let's blind this guy. So that way he can't... If he decides uh, he missed one of them, but not all of them. That's too bad. Stunned. That's pretty nice. Stunned. That's good. 70% chance and we didn't get two stuns last time. That was not good. That's fine. That's good. And we can heal up. What do we got? 26. We're poison 15. We're healing 26. So that's good. All we got to do is kill this guy and we can do that before it gets to go. So Rage has got to pass. And now we just heal up a pinch and we should be good to go for something else. Uh, we need to get Rage up there. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Not much. No. No. Uh, well, we're all full of power, so let's see. There's four of them there with two more poison drakes. That really knocked us out the last time. One poison drake. This would be good to heal up on right here, most likely. And same with this. Alright, we'll work on this poison drakes. And then we will heal up on one of those easy ones. Alright, this guy can shoot up here. We can put him right up there. That's good. Let's try to get a stun. Yes, that's nice. That's not nice. Blind this thing. Hopefully that will help us. There's a miss by just pure luck. And of course, it poisoned us 46. Wow. Alright, we gotta go for it here. Hmm. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and try to kill this thing. I think Brick hits a little bit harder so we'll let Rage finish this thing off. Wow, Rage is just dying. You know, <clears throat> maybe the best thing to do is let Rage die and bring it back with uh, <clears throat> with Dazzle. Okay. Let's see here. Let's try to heal up on something this one is really good to heal up on and this one is pretty good to heal up on this one is pretty tough okay I think I want to just bring rage back maybe rage will die here and we can also go intimidation that might be the best plan. Let's do that. And let's blind this thing. Let's blind this. It's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Let's try to get some power back here. With Brick, Brick stunned, Rage needs power back, Dazzle will blind this guy. Alright, let's start killing things. Too bad. Well, 
Let's try a Blood Sprite. That sounds pretty good. That'll help us heal up a little bit. And we'll work on this a little bit. I think I'm gonna rest. Gotta rest with Dazzle's got gonna get 30 back. That's excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and heal with this blood sprite. Might as well. See what the gargoyle does. I can't hit. Oh, there it is. Well, I was hoping to get more power back, but that's alright. More junk. Uh, we're definitely not taking this over these the 32 blinding. No way. Yeah, we already have a hood. And more green stuff. Not really helping us. Okay, let's go ahead and... Not yet. We're full power, so let's go ahead and get our glowing stone fragment. I think I'm going down here. Let's try to get this arachnoid stunned. That's good. And we'll kill these two and then work on... Let's blank out this guy. Hopefully blind him a little bit. Fear sower. Yeah, stunned. Uh, that's not so good. Ah, uh, that blinding didn't help. Let's... Stop this pain right here. Is this guy blinded? No. Alright, let's stop that problem. That guy's stunned and back to rage. Nope, did not get the stun this time. That's alright, we'll be able to finish it off next time. I think. Let's... Let's go defensive. I don't want to take so much damage. Oh no. <laughs> that was a fail. I meant to kill that. I should have killed that. Now well, he's dead now. This guy's only got 83% chance to to hit. Uh, whatever. Take the chance. We'll just keep on killing. We'll use a shrine to heal up. That thing hits just crazy. When it, it that's a lot of poison. We really need some poison protection now at this point. I'm gonna miss, of course. As soon as you can miss, you start to miss. That's just... that's the way it goes. Stunned. There we go. Finally, some blue items. Let's take a look here. This one, Drain Health, that might be an upgrade actually. Um, for somebody. Uh, I think 7%, one more percent drain health is not worth getting rid of that instant retreat. I think I'm going to keep that instant retreat. Well, let me see here. What about this guy? No, oh, this is an upgrade. Pure and simple. Good. Thought that might be an upgrade. And quickness and poison reduction. Well, we definitely said we need to work on that. Let's see. If, oops, let's see. We lose our health regen and damage reflection, and we get a little quickness, which doesn't really help us very much. Well, actually, that's plus nine quickness. It looks like plus four quickness, but it's really plus nine. So if we were at 28, we'd be at 37. Yeah, 37. So, uh, let's see. But we would be down to that health regen would go down. What is if they're hitting 50 poison and we get 30% reduction? That means let's say it was 100 poison after two hits, then we would get it would only be 70 poison. It would save us 30 poison per turn, so half of that's 15. So for a 50 poison, which it was shooting 45. So that's about 12 or 13 per turn regen instead, you know, because regen is only going to help us with 7 health regen or it's 15 for one shot of poison. 
So 30% poison reduction is actually better. We need to work on that poison reduction. So let's do that. We're going to have to take the hit on that. And this one doesn't give us poison resist either. So that's, you know, that's not really very good. This one is good though. Indomitable is something I generally do like and or something that gives me resistances and then I'll plug that in and have 100% resistances or something. That's something, but this one is pretty good. Let's see what the update in the armor was. 109, that's not bad. We definitely need that reduced poison. All right, well, let's take that. Let's go ahead and hit a shrine. Let's use this one first. What do we got left? An arachnoid. You know, we can take this arachnoid on. We can take this on. And we'll heal up a little bit on the way there. That's not going to help anything. All right. Let's blind him. That's good. And we will go defensive. Not too bad. Yeah, everybody's blinded now. And stunned. No, nope, I want to save his power. It doesn't really matter. Let's blind this guy. This guy's stunned and pretty much dead. Missed. That's the blinding. Alright, good. Take that out. And then we will, let's just go ahead and use a, uh, a deal here. We'll just destroy this as best we can, quickly as possible. Looks good. Line that. He's stunned. He missed from the blinding. And of course, Zack, but we can still kill him with this guy. This guy's blinded, so I'm not going to waste all the power, but you know what? I got nothing to lose. Good. And then we'll go and heal up. He's defiant, so we can't kill him right now. He's a survivor, but can't last forever. There's something blue. Let's see if that's an upgrade. Oh, stun resist. It's nice. More armor. That's nice, but health regen is better. And poison reduce and another vampiric cloak. Yep, that's identical. Hmm, poison reduction. That is really good. This guy would then have, instead of drain health, and this, he would have like 60% chance to resist poison. But I think this next battle doesn't even really have poison in it. Just a Grebler. Let's see here. I think we're going to get rid of this. There's a stun resist. Stun resist. There's two stun resists. Okay, get rid of that. And poison and poison. So we'll get rid of one of these. Don't want too many of those around. That's health regen. That's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and we 96% explored. Let's see this one. There, 98%. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. We'll put on. Let's see. We never got a better weapon, did we? And we're still shooting level 6 over here. Maybe we'll go to the store. Generally like to go to the store after. Let's go to the store after. Alright, we're going to put this on brick. And one of these on brick maybe. Just to make sure. Let's see, that gives him stun resist 99. That's not bad. Damage reduction 70 with the extra 15 is going to be 85. That's pretty good. 
And with the snake blood potion, he's got 25 health regen. Let's just make sure that it's easy and we can win this without too much trouble. Okay. Let's go on this side. This way. This way, this way, this way. This looks good. Uh, Salazar is going to... We're just going to try to get through it to Salazar as fast as possible. But you know... Hmm... Rage isn't going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot. And he doesn't have a real power weapon anyway. We're kind of stuck there like that. Maybe Rage should just go defensive. Let's... Maybe if I put Pike up in the front, then Rage can switch later with Pike. Hmm. Rage can go up here, but I want to stop that arachnoid. Well, I can shut it down with any kind of power. That's pretty good, actually. This might be the way to go. Brick can kill the Grebler. Pike can insta kill the Iraq the Basilisk. No, we want we want this. We want the Basilisk to die and the Arachnoid to die. We'll let the Grebler live and we'll then shoot forward and try to kill Salator as fast as possible. Well, we should probably just kill these front rows. Let's just stick with this. We'll try to stun the Arachnoid. There it is. Alright. Take our licks here. That's no problem. Go defensive. We will take some hits, and if things die, that's alright. He's stunned. Whoa, Rage almost got wiped out. That's good, so nobody died, strangely enough. Let's stop this Arachnoid from doing anything. I don't want it to live. Actually, the Basilisk is up next, and Brick still has 100 percent guaranteed strike so we'll take that out and we will take out this arachnoid so it won't blind us so then we have guaranteed strike let's go intimidation here so he won't die that's not a problem and we will start blinding things in the back row maybe that's the best plan or we can bring out some other units to hit. Everybody's ready to go. Let's... Pike is poisoned a little bit, not too much, but I think this is probably the best. Let's try this. There goes one. There goes two, so that's okay. And Salasaur passed. Let's try to kill this thing as fast as possible. Rage doesn't have anything left. We'll pass. It's blinded? No. Nope. Alright, it's got 161. We hit for 185. So let's just go ahead and kill that. Get it out of the way. That's a little bit funky. Now it's getting ready to do another hit. Next time it will be able to do another hit, so... Well, we'll work on it. You can't kill Brick. That's what's really important. Mm, let's boost everyone. That's a nice thing. Rage. Let's just work on this thing. That's a nice hit. And Pike. Well, that wasn't too bad. It actually could have used its super weapon, I think. But it didn't. Okay. Well, they definitely cannot kill us now. I don't think it's possible for them to beat Brick. You know, they're hitting for 13 and Brick regens for 25, so even if both of them did any business there, it would it wouldn't do anything. Oh, let's... Oh, brutality. <laughs> On us. That's silly. Let's 
All right. Yeah, it looks like it's over. Excellent. And we got something. I don't know what it is. 48% chance to resist stun. 5% chance to kill. 110% damage to undead. The problem is we need the guaranteed hit. But you know, we might save these because we can get a ring for a guaranteed hit and you never know when we're going to get that. So let's, let's let that go. Maybe I should, you know, maybe I will need a crossbow for this next battle. Mm, no, we need to insta-kill one of those other things. Nine quickness, it's a green item, it's really not worth it. Let's see what this upgrade would be. 221 damage, that's pretty good. We could shoot forward, but accuracy minus 19, blinding 19, that's actually almost identical there. But the extra chance to stun is gone. Well, we can figure this all out after the next thing. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the store, and then we're going to work on the Dreadfather. So until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next time, be well.